Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be making a snipe command without a database. We're also going to limit 5 sniped messages per channel so that the host memory or your memory does not run out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, I have VS Code opened up right now. As you can see here, this is index.js. This is basically your bot's main file. Um, if you're using my command handler, you should see something like this. This is client.commands, client.alysis. Okay, you just want to head on onto there and then all you need to do is client dot and then in here you're going to put in snipes so you can access it's a global variable so you can access it wherever in our files equals to new collection collection all right so if you haven't have this defined yet just go on here as you can see your const make sure there's curly brackets over here const curly brackets collections equals require discord.js okay so all you need to do is client or snipes equals new collection and up here if you don't have collection defined you can just define it like that okay so for the next part we can listen to snipes if you don't have an event handler already i highly recommend you to get one or else you can just do it in index.js there is no problem with this you can just follow it um i'll tell you where you follow it if you want to use index.js there's no problem with that so yeah uh, i'm just going to use event handler because that's way easier so let me just do snipe js so as usual uh every time when you have a new event you're going to require client from the main file so cons client equals require and then uh we, as usual we're going to pass it index.js so dollar slash and then index perfect next uh we're going to do client dot on let me just uh close this away Client on oops okay message delete so we're going to listen for message delete event okay in here we're just going to pass a message oops what's going on all right so in here uh we can just define a variable so we're going to just do let snipes make sure it's let don't make it const because we're gonna modify the code a little bit so client dot uh client dot snipes let me just remove this mouse over here client snipes get so you want to get the message dot channel dot id or else if it's it doesn't return anything we're just gonna make it an empty array Okay, for the next step, we're gonna check if the snipes length is over than five, uh, over than five messages. If you want to have unlimited snipes, just ignore this line over here. So if you want to limit it to five snipes per channel, you can just do this. So if snipes dot length is more than five, you can just do snipes. Uh, equals to snipes dot slice zero and 0 to 4 so this is basically getting the first element of the of the array until the fifth element i mean the fourth element um yeah all right so next we're gonna head on to doing uh we're gonna do snipes dot unshift on shift okay it's gonna be an object we're going to push this object into the array so we're just going to do message message msg make sure it's msg because we're going to use it later on on the video i'll tell you why we need to make it msg image will be message dot attachments dot first question mark dot proxy url or else just make it null next time we're just going to do date dot now uh, so you can access the time so it will it will write in the footer something like this message was sent a few seconds ago an hour ago so you would know when the message was sent all right so lastly all we need to do is do client.snipes.set message.channel.id comma snipes all right once you're done with this we're gonna go and create a new command so it's pretty simple as usual you're just going to create a new file let me just see I, I can make it in moderation as well if i want to so let me just do it in moderation okay so this i exclamation mark djs to get the snippet is it even working 
Now mind, let's just type this out. It's pretty simple. Let me just require message. Uh, equals require discord.js. Let me just close this over here. All right. And then we're just going to module the exports. Name will be snipe. And then run async client message arcs. Okay, and in here we can just do some JS doc. You can ignore this if you want to. Let me just see if client can auto complete. Okay, maybe not. I'll just require it later on. Message and this can be a argument uh array of string. Just something like this client. Alright, perfect. You can just ignore this line if you want to. It's just gonna give you IntelliSense. Okay, for your next line, um, you can do if you want to make this a moderation command. So you want to check if the person have permissions first. If you want to make this uh, available, this command available for everyone to use it, you can just skip this line. If you want this to be a moderator only command, you can write this line. Okay, so the line is if we're gonna check for permission. So if message the member the permissions the has, we're gonna check for management manage messages return oops why is this happening okay so if the person doesn't have manage managers uh you're gonna stop him or her from using the command all right perfect um next we can do okay so we're gonna get these snipes okay so before this uh you need to install you need to install moment so let me just open the terminal i'll just ignore this uh, let me just see if I can create a new terminal. Alright. So in terminal, all you need to do is npm i moment and you should be good to go. Just do npm i moment. Alright, so let me just see if I can kill this. Okay. Just uh and then we're gonna require the package right on top of here. Const moment equals require moment. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to use moment later on on this command. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get these snipes. So we can do that by doing const snipes equals to client.snipes.get okay, message.channel.id If there is no snipes, return message.reply There is no messages deleted in this channel. Okay. Next one, we're just gonna do const snipe. Make sure there's no s behind equals to plus arc zero. So this is basically converting um, the argument into a number one. If there's no arcs, you're just gonna put in zero. Okay, and then next we're gonna define the target. So we can do const target equals to snipes, and you can just bracket snipe. So you're basically assessing the what property. So if you want the third property, you want the third sniped message, you can just do this and we can access the third sniped message. Next, we're gonna do if there is no target, return message or reply. So let's say the guy wants to snipe the hundred message, which doesn't exist. So we can just write something like this. There is only, and we can just snipes uh, dot length, messages okay so we can just inform that there is only five if if there is five you're just gonna um, inform the amount of sniped messages in that specific channel all right for the next line we're gonna destructure a few properties from target so cons equals target make sure there is curly brackets over here so the first one you want to destructure is message next one is going to be the time and the last one is going to be the image so this is the easiest part. You're gonna send the embed itself. So we can just do something like message or channel or send. Of course, you can customize the embed however you like. So let me just require message embed real quick from Discord.js. All right, just do that really quickly. Okay, so you're gonna send a new message embed. And then uh, we can, dot, can do something like dot set alter. So basically this message is the message over here. So it's basically the same thing. 
Um, the reason that I don't want to set message earlier is because I'm renaming it. I'm uh, destructuring it. So I just don't want it to uh, have a conflict. So all you need to do is dot set author message to author dot tag and then um comma so this is the name and the next will be message to author dot display avatar url okay perfect so next we're gonna move on to image image and then we can just do pass an image in here all right so if there is image it's gonna show the image if there is no image saved which is gonna be null and there will be uh, no image in the embed Lastly, we're going to do set footer. It's going to be uh, here's where we're going to use moment. Make sure there's two backticks over here. Dollar sign moment. And we're going to pass in time. I'm pretty sure you can do message or date, but uh, let's just do it. Let's just do time because we already uh, used it. And then we can just do from now. So we can see how long this message was deleted. And then uh, we're just going to do something like a border. Okay, this. You can, this is a design, you can do whatever you want. You can make it an arrow or something. So here we're gonna just gonna do something like snipes. Um, snipe plus one. And then we can do slash and then snipes dot length. So if you want to choose the first, the second snipe out of five snipes, we're just gonna do two over five. All right, perfect. So um, we just do set color random and then um yep i think that is it of course you can change the ho embed however you want um but yeah uh let's just test this out all right so now we're on discord and let's just test this comment out so if i try to do y snipe there will be no messages deleted in this channel so let me just say uh let me just do something like delete this message okay let me just delete that and if i do y snipe again i should get an error let me just see what's going on client.snipe oh it's not client or snipe it's client.snipes all right all right um let me just it's in the event so make sure it's client.snipes make sure there's an s in here so let me just restart again Okay, so the bot has restarted and let's just try to delete this message again. So let me just do something, delete this message, x2, something like that. And let me just delete this message. Let me just try to run y snipe. Oh, I forgot to set the description of the embed, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I forgot to set the description. So um, all you need to do is do set description. And then you need to do message the content. How did I forget that? Okay, so let's just try this again. This is the third try. And then I'm gonna delete this message. Uh, and then you can do Y snipe. You can see here this is the third try. As you can see here, this is the author of the uh, deleted message, and this is the avatar a few seconds ago. All right, so let me just create a new message. Okay, just a random string of text. So let me just remove that also. And it should update. Okay, as you can see here, this is the new deleted message. You can see a one of two. So you can, if you want to access the second snipe, all you need to do is y snipe two. So it will display the second snipe of the second snipe. So yeah, um, if you go to another channel though, and if you try to run Y snipe, you wouldn't get any messages because the deleted messages is scoped by the channel IDs. All right, so now let's just try out to delete, to snipe a image. You can do this with a GIF, with an MP4. I'm pretty sure it will work. So just try this out, upload. Let's just delete this. Just try TS snipe. Oops, it's Y snipe. As you can see here, the image show up, and then you can access the other messages as well. So you can just Y snipe 2, Y snipe 3. Alright, that should conclude today's video on the snipe command. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos. If you want to see more Discord.js tutorials, stay tuned on the end. You should see a playlist that you can click on. 
Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!